Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November 11th of 2023. Well, it is titled the SAR and the Milky Way. So what do we see here? Well, here in an image taken less than a week ago, we see a couple of different things, including our Milky Way galaxy. And we can see that stretching up across the sky and especially visible up in the upper left hand portion here, where we see the dark dust clouds and star clouds, bright star clouds of our Milky Way galaxy. Now the other thing we see is that reddish glow and that red is called a stable auroral red arc or SAR. So this is an actually a relatively rare thing to be able to see and is related to the aurora. And from studies that have been done looking at this this phenomenon, that what we found is that it seems to be related to currents within Earth's magnetosphere. And that then causes the heating of the upper atmosphere and causes the emission up above. So the intenseness of that in the magnetosphere. Now, of course, the magnetosphere is then affected by charged particles from the sun. So this is related to auroral activity because that comes from Earth's magnetic field. Now, the Earth's magnetic field is what focuses the particles. So those particles will come from the sun and follow along magnetic field lines, many of them being completely deflected away from Earth but others funneling around toward the poles. And that's why we tend to see auroral effects very far north or very far south. So this is another part of our understanding of the auroral emission that we see. But this is much, much higher. This is very, very high in the atmosphere. Uh, gives it the red color as rather than the green color that we typically associate with the lower aurora. Now we should clarify that even those low aurora are still many miles up in the atmosphere 50 60 miles up. So we're not looking at things very low down in the parts of the atmosphere that we're used to. All of this activity is in the very high portions of our atmosphere and that includes the regular aurora and the even higher SARS that we look at here today. So we continue to study the aurora as they give us a look into how the sun and our Earth's atmosphere interact over time. So that was our picture of the day for November 11th of 2023. It was titled the SAR and the Milky Way. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be a snow day. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.